What's up guys? Vlog number five. I'm like getting out on a beautiful day for a little bit of board. It reminds me a lot of snowboarding. Just the, uh, the falls hurt a little bit more. I want to talk a little bit today about some, one of the marketing principles that we've learned about how to ramp revenue and profit on Amazon for a, a brand or a seller, and that is attacking the marketplace. So principle number one, optimize for conversion first, traffic second. Separate video about that. Feel free to hit that video to learn more about how we optimize for conversion first, traffic second. But before you spend a bunch of money, you want to pull the non-spend levers first. And those non-spend levers include logistics and inventory fulfillment, optimization, bundle and catalog analysis optimization, making sure that you're, uh, at, uh, you're eligible for Amazon Prime. You also want to make sure that you know where you fit in the market on price. And so you want to review your pricing strategy and understand, are you a guy what's coming in as a premium and needs to defend that premium space? That's a space most brands like to live in. But it's also important to make sure that you understand that if you're already Tesla and you want to charge three times the price of a Tesla, you've now become like Louis Vuitton or you become Lamborghini or Ferrari and there's just not that many buyers for a $250,000 car. The same principles apply to the economics of the Amazon marketplace. And so in the Amazon ecosystem, our proprietary bubble chart targeting does a fantastic job of laying out the commodity end of the market, the premium end of the market, and then the balance of both. And what you can see if you look at, if you graph the market in this way, is you can see opportunities for targeting. You want to attack not just the brand names of your competitors, but brand plus SKU name. So a good example of this is that we have a tremendous respect for kind. When I was at Quest Nutrition and managed Amazon for Quest Nutrition, we often bumped up against kind in the marketplace or against RX Bar. And one of the things we learned when we analyzed the data was that RX Bar and kind were very, very good at bidding not only on the term Quest, our brand name, but also Quest Birthday Cake Bar or Quest chocolate chip cookie dough. There's offense and defense. Defense meaning spend that you spend on your own branded terms just to keep the bid levels up so it's not cheap for your competitor to attack you. You can't stop them from bidding on you in the Amazon marketplace very easily, but you can make it economically unviable for them where the conversion rates don't make sense. And you're deploying ten, usually 10 to 20% of your budget to just protect your existing customer base. The other 80% is where the fun gets in. And so you can you can first make sure that you have good defensive uh, targeting in place to make sure you're protecting your customers, to make sure it's not cheap for other, other people to bid on your brand. And then you can gear your, your keyword targeting campaigns to be more offensive. And that means you're not just going after Nike, you're going after Nike Air Jordan Max or Air Max 270. You're going after Gatorade, not just Gatorade, but Gatorade G2 sugar free. And when you do, when you put together those custom lists and then you apply those in your keyword targeting, you'll find a higher return on ad spend, a higher, a higher conversion rate and a better click through rate resulting in uh, faster growth. And then nobody bids on it. So it's very, very super relevant traffic. However, there's not a lot of folks that are competing for those cost per clicks. It's very important to talk about the role of programmatic bidding when it comes to Amazon. Humans are great at strategy, but they have to eat, sleep, and uh, take a break, just like everybody else. Software or computers are very, very good at repeatable tasks or following algorithms or programmatic rule set. And what we've learned about the Amazon marketplace is you need humans plus software working together to drive the best results. So when you're, it, we, we did some analysis and if, you're, if somebody's logging into your Amazon account every day and they're clicking around in campaigns, they can make maybe one to 3,000 optimizations per month if they're doing a great job. Software with algorithmic bidding, with best in class uh, programmatic uh, API connections to Amazon is going to be very, very good at making lots of changes, but what are those changes actually, what kind of impact are they actually having? So for creating campaigns, humans are the best at campaign creation. However, computers are the best or programmatic bidding is the best at running 24 seven, 365. Here at Piranha, we use best in class Amazon marketing experts to come up with a strategy, leveraging our proprietary tool set. 
uh, and we use programmatic bidding to drive best-in-class results. And I think you need both in the marketplace to really be effective.